Leo Cullen, uh, you, you proudly deposited the Rabo Direct trophy here today. Are you hoping to do the same thing this time next year? Yeah, well, that'll be the plan, I suppose. Um, yeah, listen, such a long season. Um, you know, we started off against Scarlet's away last year, got a pretty heavy beating over there first round. And listen, obviously, this year, I think our focus is trying to do a little bit better over there. And um, I think we were lucky the way the league panned out, the way the results went later on in the year, that we managed, obviously, to sneak a home semi and the fact that obviously Ulster had to move their game we managed to get the home final as well um, even though it was Ulster's game to be at home um, I don't think we could probably afford such a sort of sluggish start into the season so I think that's probably the thing we're looking to address more than anything else. Uh, in terms of setting the standard Simon Easterby spoke earlier on about Leinster being one of the standard bears and setting the standard in the league you, you guys are, are up there now that the three stars on the shirt means that you guys are up there for every other team to go after aren't you? Um, I suppose so, yeah. Um, listen, we've, we've been quite fortunate. We've had a little bit of success over the last number of years and um, I think it's good that we've kind of a group of players that are, you know, once you kind of get a taste for it, you kind of want a bit more and um, I think that's very much the case with this group and it's a pretty competitive bunch. Um, you know, there's good competition for places within the team and like I think the thing that stood out most of all for me last year was the fact that we used the guts of 50 players. I think it was just over 50 and that's pretty amazing when you think of it, you know. So there's certain times of the year where you have to rely on younger players and less experienced players, and you know I think that's what you need to have a successful campaign in this league. And it also helps to build a team for the future, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that kind of conveyor belt, and you know, constantly every year those younger guys have more and more experience. So when it comes to stepping up on the so-called bigger games, maybe later on in the year that they've sort of they've been through the mix.